Oh, well, I'm good at, yeah, I'm good at describing things, I guess. <laughs> so, three-eighths uh, rebar, just ground down on the grinder. Yes, it's blue. Yes, I overheated it. Yes, it turned orange a couple times. Um, I'm sticking little pieces of fire with it, so I'm not worried about it being hardened. And then this little hook, I just bent this same piece of rebar, bend it halfway, ground it down, sort of ground more heavily here so that um, it made more of a hook this direction. So the hook came around like this. Okay, so we're going to put in a piece of wood, wrap it up, and see if it works. After it cools, of course. Kind of. So what I was thinking was for small rounds that I'm going to split, is this going to be strong enough that if it's sitting on the ground, and I don't have to bend over and pick it up, I can stick it with this and raise it up and put it on the wood splitter. Sure. And then this end, the hook end is more for these over here. Like let's say this round is on the ground and I just wanted to move it around or put it in a position to cut it with the saw. But I guarantee this isn't going to be helpful. Nope. <laughs> we found our limit. <laughs> found the limit. So I'm going to have to fix that, obviously. And what's your plan for fixing that? Uh, I don't have one. Okay. It's kind of cooled off. So it was to. Jam this on here as far as possible. And then try to. So I think what I could do is I could actually get that fiberglass um, wrap, or I have fiberglass actually in resin, and just coat it with resin and then wrap fiberglass around it and then tighten it with like a hose clamp or something mm. to hold it. I don't know what to tighten it with. Or maybe just a piece of wire or something just to hold it tight and let the fiberglass harden tight around this. And then. Um, Or I could put a screw through here and try to contact that, see if I could jam the screw coming through here to contact that. But there's sure. not really, or I could drill a hole in this somewhere down here, try to figure out where that is and drill a cross hole. That's too much work. And doing that without splitting the wood more. Right. Aye. So then there's the... So if you saw this, wouldn't you think ice axe? Yeah. Except, Except it's for the angle. curved, yeah. It's curved the wrong way. So some people say you can just use this. But the release is harder. But it's harder to get it out than it is that thick bolt. I don't know if that's true. It looks like you're also making more effort to lift it. the ergonomics of kind of the one-handed. Yeah, so this is probably going to be more useful for picking up bigger things like this. So I want to pick these up and put them on a wood splitter. Mm. I think that's where this is going to be better. Yep, let's go! So maybe I'm just using too much energy. I am. But that's asking everything. Aspen's super soft. Not bending over. I think both these tools are going to be useful for something. Not bending over and be able to move this around without bending over and picking it up and whatever. Or I want to pick it up and put it on something so I can cut it in half. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I almost bent over. Force a habit. I almost used my back.
here in the wilds of the Alamosa Valley, they find the woodsman. That was counterproductive. <laughs> Don't stab yourself in the foot. These are steel toed shoes. And you've had your tetanus? Um, I had one about four years ago when I stepped on the nail. What is going on back there? It's Sage. She found a piece of wood she really likes. Look at this. I can stab the wood down here, move it up there, and just rough it off. This is cool stuff. And how many times I bent over? Zero. Negative zero. Negative. Zero. So let's see the tip Forge. now. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually forged this in fire. So I heated it with the propane, or not the propane torch, but the map gas torch, and then hammered it, and then quenched it, and it hasn't bent yet. It's a little bit thicker here than the old one. The other one had a nice long taper. So um, what was happening, I think, was when we were, not when we were stabbing logs, when we were throwing logs and the log was twisting, it was actually bending the tip. So the tip here hasn't bent yet. It's probably not gonna focus on it. So. Put your hand behind it. I had that little bit of a bend in it when I hammer forged it. Yeah. Like I know what I'm doing with that. <laughs> So this is going to be great because when we, I decided I'm not going to stack wood like that anymore. I'm just going to throw it in here and let it sit. It's going to take up less space. I'm going to take up more space for amount of wood, but that's okay. But then how am I going to get it? Because I can't really reach it because of the slope. I'm going to have to lean over to reach it to throw it in the log thing, which isn't good for my back either. So I'm just going to use this. And I'll be able to stick a piece of wood put it in the wheelbarrow with the wheelbarrow right there of course <laughs> and it may be faster to bend over and pick up wood but it's a hundred times more fun to stab it All right, so soaked it in phosphoric acid and got it painted. Um, as far as the split handle went, I still went ahead and used the split area, but I just filled it with 5 minute epoxy all the way to the top and then rammed this down inside. And of course, epoxy came out and poured everywhere. <clears throat> Tapped it in right here, um, seated this really well, and then just let that epoxy harden all the way around it. Um, it developed a little hole right here that was only about that deep. I just went ahead and filled it. This morning was some more five minute epoxy and it's nice and hard now. So seems to be working well. Um, try to hold it so you can see it. I'm pretty happy with it. The tip hasn't bent. I think um, the original tip I put on here was too shallow. Um, it was too narrow. And so that's why it bent over so easily. This one hasn't bent yet. It's kind of still that way the way I cut it, but um, I'm not trying to lift anything heavy with it either. So, okay. So try to do this one handed. And we'll set that right there, maybe there, probably knock some other logs down. That's okay. All right, where's another log right there? <clears throat> okay, a little bit of twisting and it comes right out. All right. And as far as these logs go, pick those up and move them and shake them off. Just with a little twist, It'll just come right off. So, it may be a different tip design. I don't know. That seems to be working okay, though. I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. So, yeah, again, this is just an old rake I was going to throw away. <clears throat> 
can see where it was all split. It wasn't holding the rake handle anymore, and the handle was just getting bad. It did have this metal piece, so just re use this 3 8 rebar, and um, so it's about, you know, a total of, it goes down in here four inches or so, three inches or four inches, and um, I just kind of tapered the rebar on this end, so when I pounded it down inside, it stuck, and then I just filled it with five-minute epoxy. I mixed up a bunch of five-minute epoxy and just filled it with it just to kind of hold this in place and keep this from slipping. So far, it's working okay. Um, you know, it's got a couple bucks in it. Since this was a piece of junk I was going to throw away right here, this piece of rebar was just laying around. My recommendation when you do this, though, is um, when you grind this tip on, uh, if it gets red hot, that's going to soften the metal and then it'll bend. So if you can grind it just a tiny bit at a time, that's always better than it. You won't have to try to hammer it or heat it heat it and hammer it later and that's what I ended up doing um, I ended up heating it with the map gas torch I guess I could use the acetylene torch and then heated it and then pounded it heated it pounded it let it cool heated it pounded it let it cool I don't know if that's the right way to forge it or not I don't know anything about forging but that seemed to harden it and then I quenched it a couple times um, in water and I did the same thing here although you really don't need this hook this I just put this on here so I could drag stuff around on the ground um, and just weld that out that on there all the way around with a little mig with a mig welder um, but this tip will bend if it gets red hot and then you just let it cool passively it won't last very long even in wood so yeah a little bit of forging maybe um, and that's the only thing I'd really recommend so far it's worked well I've used it to get ropes out of trees and put ropes in trees already um, some serious winds 50 60 miles an hour came through from the east last night and um was my one of my trees was actually leaning and the dirt was lifting up around it and the wood chips were lifting up around it every time the wind would gust and i was worried it was going to fall over tied it up with some ropes the ropes that i put up way high as far high as i could reach with this pike pole i just lifted the rope with this um up into a crook of the tree and was able to pass it through and and then hook it with this so it kind of came in handy for a couple things not just for logs or uh, firewood, it came in, for it came in handy for that. So that was kind of nice. And uh, the tree's still standing, so my rope security job uh, worked thanks to this little pike pole.